Hi, and welcome to the Newcastle yeah. Farmer's Market, located on Route 13, right across the street from Newcastle County or Airport. Tim Qualls, along with Greg P Beecher, the pizza man. We're getting the show started today. Greg's making pizza at Mama Gina's Pizza. They got the best pizza in the world. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. I guess, I guess, I guess we'll let Greg, we'll let them make the pizza, and we're gonna go do a TV a show. Idea, yeah, too. yeah. But Mama Gina's All Pizza. Right. Yeah, you're not very good at tossing that pizza, my friend. But Mama Gina's Pizza, that it is the best pizza by far in, in anywhere in town. The only problem is you can only get it Friday, Saturday, That's or right, Sunday. Best Friday and Saturday, town, 9 to 9. Sunday, 10 to 6, these guys are here. Yeah, man. You can uh, come in, get slices. You can uh, order pizza to go. Man, that wore me out. <laughs> you you were doing really well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can get me back. I don't know how. I'll eat something hot. Yeah, yeah hot I, I don't know how I look right now, but uh, but let them make the pizza. We'll make we're going to do a TV yeah, show. But when it comes to pizza, you know as well as I do, they do anything and everything. You know, if you want the kitchen sink in it, you got a pizza yeah, with do. the kitchen Custom sink. Yeah, pizzas. They got some great uh, great style pizzas, and you can order them. Like I said, pick them up, and you know you can do do uh, slices and. Yeah, yeah, they're here yeah. three days a week. When the guys are saying you, you need to let somebody else make pizza, they're gonna, you know, they're, we're gonna order up a pizza. We're gonna go do the rest of the show. We're gonna come back to Mama Gina's, show you how good the pizza is when Greg doesn't make it, you know. And, uh, <laughs> but it's early in the morning right now. Lunchtime's not here, so we got plenty of time for them to make the pizza Greg ordered that he was attempting to make. <laughs> You gotta throw it higher, Greg. Yeah, I said, yeah, higher. yeah, I gotta throw it higher. But we're gonna go down and get it started in the Thanks. Dutch section here at the Newcastle Farmers Market. But don't we don't do it here? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take a break here. But uh, but let me remind everybody. You know, when you're talking about Newcastle Farmers Market, starts with outside the flea market. I always tell people that's my first stop when I come here is hit that flea market. Right now, great time of the year. Not too hot. Yeah, we're people. We're definitely full out there. You know, over 200 individual vendors selling. You know, used. Uh, Use merchandise, antiques, collectibles, you know, lawn equipment, uh, dishware, clothing, toys, electronics. Uh, the list goes on and on. Fishing gear. We, you know, we, you can do it out there. There's uh, everything you need. Um, second hand, you know. Don't why buy new? Go there first. Check it out. Flea yeah, so but it's great, 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 great here. Then uh, you know you came in. Uh, I guess it's been going on eight years now, or better. Uh, you came in, and the addition was put onto the Newcastle Farmers Market here, the Pennsylvania Dutch section. We're going to go into that and and, and, and start it there because. Since I got flour all over, <laughs> might, might as well go get a donut. Cause they, you could have a powder donut and you blend oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I got some of them do with that powder donut. We're going to go down there to the stove because I'm going to try to clean up a little bit. Stay with us. I'm telling you, there's not a better way to start your morning when you get here at the Newcastle Farmer's Market than come in and hit the Dutch County Donuts. I mean, best donuts. It, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. How are you? You've been it's making been up donuts for what? Three in the morning, what you, probably. What do, you, what do you got there? Tim, this is the uh, look at how much powder they put on these donuts. This is a powdered cream donut. <laughs> <laughs> they got, they got, they got, I had to get some of it off. It, it, at least it's sweeter than yeah, the Yeah, you're flour. in trouble today. Hey, so. hey, but donuts, you, got, you guys start. <laughs> you got, got it more, everywhere. He man. got more on them than he did on me. But you, you, hey, you man, guys you start early in the morning. You we know? do. Um, I mean, we leave Lancaster on a, on a Saturday. We leave a little bit early. But we just want to get down here, make sure everything's all ready to go. Everything's fresh. Friday night, everything's making sure we sell out. Saturday morning, brand new batch. Well, that, that's what I was going to tell people because I'm always amazed at how many donuts you guys put out on a daily basis here. I mean, how many dozens would you say you make a, 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 on a weekend? I mean, there's about 160 donuts in a batch. <laughs> we do anywhere from, on a Saturday, we do anywhere from 16 to 24. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm telling you because I know people, and then I notice what you do do is you're not going to carry them over to the next day. They're fre they're fresh. That you know when you when you guys start, they're absolutely fresh. Because I know at the end of the night, and that's kind of when I like to say, okay, I can have them for breakfast. I come by here, and you guys will make special offers, and you know, hey, you can have a dozen yep. for this much, whatever. Because you're gonna, you're not going to have anything left on the shelf. Nope, that's right. I mean, I want to get rid of everything. Um, sometimes in the evening, if we have a lot, lot left, we'll special them. But, I mean, most times you can tell, I mean, you have your regular customers. I mean, everybody loves donuts. So, I mean, we can get it down to a science pretty quick. But they definitely need to try, try the powder donut. It's got a lot of sugar on that, I'm telling you that. <laughs> you think? <laughs> you know, what, you know, 
looking at this, I mean, because you guys have such a selection. I come up here and I look and I, I try to figure out what did I get. Now, you, I guess in Boston, what are we got look at? So, what do we got here is this is one of our famous cinnamon rolls. Um, it's glazed pretty much too. just a donut and it has cinnamon wrapped up inside and it's glazed. This is our cookies and cream. Um, Oreo cookie on top and cream in the middle. Um, our coconut custard. My brother always tells me it's the best donut in our case. Now that's question, you know, everybody has their favorite their times <laughs> and their favorites that it they looks like, like but one it of just the best. has some toasted coconut on top. Now this is every kid's favorite right here just because of the jimmies. Um, and then we got our glazed donut. It'll keep and this quiet is a for strawberry a and cream. Um, it's strawberry and cream in the middle with uh, chocolate on top and a little strawberry cut. And then we have a uh, chocolate covered sh uh, cream there. It's a famous. Famous. I failed to get one of the Boston cream for you guys, but that's as well one of our popular well, ones. But you can't fit, you'd need a big box to get out all the variety. We would have had to get a yeah, dozen there's a ton of different there. donuts. Yeah, but I'm, I'm <laughs> looking at this because you said it glazed, and I look at this. Now, folks, that is a glazed donut. It I mean, is, when you, it's you, like actually yeah, coated. Yeah, I know. It's like you kryptonite know, glaze. You go get somewhere else, you see the donut here. You didn't see nothing, but you know that's it. sweet when you buy it. You try a donut. <laughs> oh, no, no. No, you just got them. It, here, here, you know how to give away donuts. Yeah, here, you gotta grab, grab them for me. Uh, let's see what, oh, he went after that cookies and cream. Look at him. Yeah, there you go. All right, Thank man. you. He went after this the big This is gonna be hard to do. Yeah, yeah. But, it, but, you know, people a little getting nervous started and everything else, uh, I gotta remind people, if you're looking for donuts, Friday and Saturday, you're not open on Sunday. We're not here on Sunday, but Friday and Saturday, Two I tell days you a week. what, we got the varieties. And don't even forget about our bagels. I mean, we got, they're the bagels. best bagels around in Delaware. Um, and you can get them and take them home, or if you're just passing by want some breakfast, we'll toast them, put the uh, butter or cream cheese on them for you, and you can eat it on the fly right here. Yeah, so bagels take home, get them by the dozen. Because awesome uh, what I Huge. find out about there, you throw those in the freezer, and you can heat them up the next day, and they're just as fresh as what they were when they come. I mean, it's unbelievable how the fresh yeah. stays with them. Exactly. I even have people that'll take the donuts home and put them in the fridge. Because, I mean, I'm not going to lie, our donuts don't have any preservatives in them. So they're not going to last too long. So, you know, day two, day three, they're already kind of getting stale. They're not going to sit around for a week. So if you keep them in the fridge a little bit, they'll last just a little bit longer. But yeah, two days is about what Nobody's you're going to Nobody's going to be waiting that long. Let's no, think of history, no, man. No, I mean, not you can't even get home without busting the box open. The, the bagels, yeah. But the one more thing you guys have and always grab when I come by here, fresh coffee. Oh yeah, our coffee is, uh, we get it from a guy in uh, Lancaster County there. They brew, uh, blend and take the beans and grind up all their coffee and um, Java Taza, some of the best coffee you're going to get around here. Yeah, I, I enjoy it when I come in here. I know that, you know, I don't eat, well, I do eat donuts now, so. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't before, you're going to now. <laughs> I, I got to say, I keep tasting that sweet sugar, though, and I mean, that, that's some good stuff. But we got some donuts we're going to give away. We thank you for your time, and uh, right. I guess, I, I guess you get up in the morning and go make the donuts, yeah. <laughs> that's right, that's what we want to do. We always want to make sure our customers are happy, and. Uh, have good quality products to give them. So. We got more of the market to do. We want to thank you so much for your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Yeah, All when right. it comes to it, hey, young man, you guys would want you like donuts? a donut? Would you, you like a donut? Okay. Grab, yeah. let's see what you, oh, yeah, you go with the candy on top. I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Man. Yeah, yeah. Why not, right? Sure. Oh, oh well, happy, happy birthday. birthday. We knew it was. We were waiting on you to come around the corner there, so we give that to you. Happy no birthday to you. Yeah. You know, the nice thing, you want a donut, young man? You went for the glaze. I was hoping nobody grabbed that one, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we, we're, we're here in the Pennsylvania Dutch section. This is the new section. There's so much here to offer. That, Everyone you know, has donuts around here. That's why you can't give them away. I'm telling you, we're, we're standing here trying to give them to come out with boxes of donuts and everything. We're going to walk down through the rest of the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch section here come just to give you an idea. Stuff. We'll come back and get some more donuts, but when you're talking about it, you know, right here. Yeah, the pretzel stand. Uh, oh. uh, Christian over here, I don't see him now, but that uh, these guys uh, can't seem to find another way to wrap something in a pretzel. They have done it all. They have great breakfast pretzels, bacon, egg, and cheese, sausage, egg, and cheese, and sausage from Lancaster County, and they have the scrapple egg and cheese. That's a classic around here, Delaware. And then you get a pizza, and then they have a great cheese steak, uh, and they got a buffalo chicken, chicken cheddar, bacon ranch. Goes on and on. They got these little smokies, though. These are great for the kids. Get a little bag of them. 
for the kids to walk around with 50 cents each. Just I mean, great fine, snack when you're walking through the market. And great pretzels. They got salted pretzel and plain pretzel. A little different from our Philadelphia style pretzel, Tim, down there. The cinnamon sticks they have too. Those things are incredible. Uh, they have apple pie wrapped up in a, in a pretzel wrap. I mean, it's a little different style than the, Phil the Philadelphia. Yeah, because I was going to say the Dutch style. They've, they've got a different, different way of doing their pretzel mix because it is really, really different. From and got more of a sweeter taste on some of it. But you got the pa pantry over here. You know, if you're looking for dipped in chocolate, dip, they'll dip. Hand dipped chocolates, bulk food, uh, spices, baked goods. Uh, they have it all. And then, you know, we should mention Lancaster County corn still in season. It will be for the next the month of August and even into September. Uh, some of the best corn you'll get, I think, anywhere around Lancaster County corn. So, yeah, I mean, this is uh, fresh and it's, it's coming in right now. They're is, just now picking it. I'm telling you, it yeah, doesn't. Get Jeremy won't impressive. mind if I do this little plug, but it is just absolutely well, what the I best, found about, the best. about corn, Greg, is when you're out, out there on farmers like, and everything, how they, you know, he, he, Jeremy, you don't mind if I have this one, do you? Here, you? Yeah, because I, I was going to say, <laughs> wait, wait, when you're out there, you want to test, test the sweetness of the corn. You just eat it. You can just eat it right here. Yeah, you can just eat it. That'll go with your good with your beard. Hey, help, help get the <laughs> hair out of it. I, I thought you filled it for My me. My wife uh, always says, like that corn you bring home, you don't even need to cook it. That's how good it is. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah. Just so this this I is. Mean, uh, that is oh. Yeah. Incredible. I don't know why people cook for it. I really you don't. don't have to cook this. It's incredible. No, no, it is so sweet. And it's, uh, you know, you can get 350 for a bag or two for six. Um, it's a great price and it's the best corn around. So obviously, summer barbecues are still happening for the next couple weeks. Come out here and get some fresh corn. You'll be, uh, you'll make everybody happy. Yeah, I'm telling no you. No one will be talking for a little while. We should have got table. the one that was in the bag, Greg, right? so we wouldn't have all that hair hanging. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you got to show the freshness. You gotta, you know. Yeah, but that's it. Fresh tomato farm. It's all coming off the farm. One thing you definitely want to check out is the juicer here. One of my favorite things, you can have any kind of juice made that you want made. They, yep. they will juice it, get ready to make some more orange juice here. <laughs> but this is some of the Regular, everyday people come in and they're looking for this. But if you see something that you want juice, you just tell these guys, place an order for it. They'll juice it up for you, have it to go. But if you just know what you want, uh, like regular orange juice, you come here, grab that. I mean, it's already pre. I don't buy eggs from anywhere else, Tim. These are uh, cage-free, and they are really something else. They're farm so fresh, good. Brown, farm fresh. And Jeremy has them out here fresh every week. Gets them from the farm, brings them out. Great sauces they make, and uh, you know you can get it's all here. fresh salads. Yeah, it's it's, it's a, all here. It's a, great, I mean, it's a great spot here in the Dutch section. Then of course the Stofus meats. We talk about that each and every week. I want to remind everybody if you're looking for Stofus uh, meats, they they kind of when you recreate no, this, this they made. Oh, hey Chris, oh, we're gonna have to sample for uh, all the viewers here. What you got there, Chris? This is our fresh baked cinnamon buns. Just came out of the oven a little while ago. Oh, yeah. And that's a nice thing when you talk about the Still pantry warm. here. Yeah, you know, when you come in this area here, it's all fresh sampling. baked. Oh, it yeah. is all fresh baked. They come in here. Uh, this is the. Wow. Is, is it? This is sticky bun or just? This is a cinnamon bun. We make the sticky buns also. Some with nuts, some plain raisins, and this is our cinnamon bun, just like a white icing on our, our sticky buns. They're incredible. Oh, man, that, that is good. He's probably yeah, wondering yeah, why. Yeah, you didn't I'm gonna watch your face when you eat one of these. Right. That is so good. <laughs> I'm telling I'll you. Give you a big one. I'll give you a big one. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Give, me, give me that. He's gonna buy him after that. Is that good or what? <laughs> They're so good, man. They're so good. Well, you can walk walk around the market. You get, you know free samples and oh, yeah, things like that. You know, yeah, they all, all the places here in the stove. But meats galore. And when you talk about free Christian. samples, if you see something here you want to try that you haven't tried before, you just ask them. They'll give you a slice of it. And and my try kids, it out. my kids love these uh, these beef sticks right here. Kielbasa cheese beef sticks here, and they have a couple different varieties. Yeah, oh, is that super something good. you don't have to cook or anything? No, just, you don't have to cook. You just refrigerate it, and it's like ready to go. It's a uh, good snack. It's kind of like kids. unique to these guys. They, they do them, and they make them right up there in, in Lancaster County at their uh, plant, and they bring them down here fresh every week. Yeah, yeah. We want all our viewers to know what they're missing if they haven't had one of these. We'll split it in half. How's that? I, I, I was gonna say break it in half because I definitely want to try that yeah. myself too. Thank you. Yeah. So this is the uh, yeah this is the regular beef stick and then they have one with cheese. I was gonna be sure you weren't gonna blow it. Jump, come off of <laughs> No more, Tim. I promise, man. I mean, I'll buy a new shirt if that goes powder doesn't come out. These are great. That's so good, man. These are great. Yeah. What a great snack to grab some yeah, of those. Great snack. Um, the beef jerky is out of this world. I mean, so good. I you can't get enough of that in the house. Um, 
So yeah, this is like Stoltzer's meats at its finest down here on the uh, end, of the, look, end of the end of the case. Sandwich meats. I mean, they've got it here. They slice it. The cheeses. I mean, they've got the it. The deli all. meats are incredible. And when we I mean, talk, they have their own. They have their own um, department of deli. Like they have a deli manager. You know, make sure that things are out fresh, sliced, and they slice back right behind here. You know, so everything's done right here and um, behind the scenes. It's an incredible, uh, Wait, well, that's incredible a, setup. And yeah. the bacon, Tim. Oh my oh, God, they smoke oh. their own bacon up in Lancaster County. It's, that it's was, all like, so fresh. Great. It's farm fresh. It's coming from Pennsylvania Dutch section uh, up in PA. Yeah. And the shish kebabs, obviously, we're in summertime here, but you can't go wrong with uh, any of these. But particularly my favorite, the marinated steak kebabs. They are out of this world. And hey, it's summertime still, and people are barbecuing. If you uh, want to come out here and grab a couple of these marinated shish kebabs, you're not going to go wrong. Put them on the grill, go over here to the salad place, and grab yourself some macaroni and well, cheese. What's and nice bam. about it, Greg, is I come out here, and it's already pre-made up. You don't have to do go home yeah, and do all that cut, you. and they season it for you. I mean, so you got different things. I mean, I know you talk about their different hamburger meats and stuff like that. They'll stuff, them and, you know. It's, there's so many things to choose from when you talk about the Pennsylvania Dutch Yeah, meats. you could come in here week after week and get something different every time for dinner. Yeah, so. all, already marinated. I mean, Meatballs are incredible, Tim. They have a t bunch of different varieties of hamburger patties, and they are big. So. Yeah, well, that's what I was talking about. They're already made up for you. They've got different flavors in them. you got yep. hot, you know, so. And, and it's simple. You come in here, you buy it, go home, throw it on the grill, and, and, and people think you're a gourmet chef or something, you know, because it's already done for you. <laughs> Is that what you do? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. But coming on down through here, and anything and everything that you want. Their sausage is incredible. It's in oh. about eight different varieties. The cheese sausage is my favorite. And they got uh, the it. Italian and, and sausage is great if you're doing, you know, you want to make a sauce. You can buy their meatballs, buy their Italian sausage, make a sauce, put that in there. Family will be pretty, pretty happy. I'm amazed because I never paid attention and many times we walked by here how long that counter is. I, I know, mean, it's it like just 80 goes feet on. Of meat. I, I thought we were buying it's and like all of a sudden feet, I'm yeah. like, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. So if you're looking for it, including pig's feet, <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's people who got that flavor for those people pig's come feet. People come in there oh, to get what they need to get, do what they got to do. Right so. off the farm, folks. And it's all here, Pennsylvania Dutch section. In the Newcastle Farmers Market, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Friday, Saturday, nine to nine, Sunday, ten to six. Remember, the Pennsylvania Dutch section is not open on Sunday, so That's if right. you want Two days that, a week you can catch them. You, you got to get that Friday, days, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. It's getting ready to be not too far off of lunchtime here, and you can see this is one of the hottest areas in the market. The, so it's with sausage. You, you and notice the rope, barbecue, yeah. rope going up here. Yeah, that line will fill up. Oh, that, that will be out. Early. But they run them through quick. They yeah. run them through quick. Yeah, no, it's you, you know you get you, you got to know how to order. You got to you can get a you know sauce with cooked onions, peppers, and you, or you can get uh, just you know ketchup, mustard. They have great hot dogs and they have great breakfast sandwiches too. They do an awesome uh, breakfast burrito with their with their sausage in it, and they got the fried deep vegetables. Can't go wrong with those. Great cut French fresh cut French fries, onion rings. So like a, a lunch favorite in this area, obviously. Uh, well, I'm amazed, but there's so much more to the Newcastle Farmers Market. You just can't believe. I mean, like, you know, if you're looking for socks, you got socks. If you're looking for shoes, you got shoes. You know, we, we talk a lot shoe about repair. the food. Yeah. We have a lot of specialities, uh, eyeglasses, shoe repair. You know, there's jewelry here, jewelry repair, watch battery repair. So, yeah, there's a there's some speciality stores here that, you know, you don't really, you know, easily find you, in you one can, place. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, same roof. try to find somebody who can repair his shoes today. I mean, you're, you're looking forever. Here at the Newcastle Farm Market, these people have been doing it for many, many years. Oh, they, sure, yeah. yeah. yeah they, they know what they're doing, and I drop mine off there. Uh, I might have to after the flour and all that I wash <laughs> off today. I still got sugar. I think I'm going to clean up a little bit, and then we're going to meet you, you know. Sounds Where are we good. going next? We'll go see Crazy Jack. Yeah, oh, it's been man. a while, man. I might not want to Stay clean. Tuned. I might not want to clean up. Then. <laughs> <laughs> but no He'll tell spray what. Yeah, when no tell what, I'm gonna get there. Let's go down and see Crazy Jack. I know the camera's gonna open up on that eagle stuff, but yeah, that's not it. We're at J and D Collectibles here in Newcastle Farmers Market. Here's my good buddy Jack. Jack, how are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Other, than I've been splashed with donuts and everything else, but. You're coming into your season right now because you do a lot of sports memorabilia, period, for baseball, everything. But football, you guys go at it. Oh, yeah. We carry a lot of stuff in here, and we're like the TV show, The Price is Right. 
We're not, let's make a deal where the price is right, Chef. <laughs> yeah, so when you come in, I mean, when you talk about price is right, I love coming in here and shopping my cowboys. I mean, you know, there's not a place in town that's got more cowboy stuff than anybody else. Yeah, really, we carry quite a bit. Basically, we have to restock everything every week. What'd you get all over your shirt? I got <laughs> Throwing powder and everything else all over me, you know, yeah. It's uh, dough. We're eating donuts. And, what kind yeah. of powder? Sugar donuts. Oh. Yeah, sugar donuts, and then uh, flour. Sure what kind of Try to sell them one of these yeah, towels. Yeah, yeah. What is, you want to wipe yourself off? Not with that. I tell you that. That's a Pittsburgh Steeler towel. Well, they don't make any cowboy ones. <laughs> well, they, go, they got a crying towel. Oh no, no. Here, here's, here's here's the new Steeler towel right here. They, they, they little pink towels there. You know. But you know, you're a big Steeler. You got the Steeler corner over here. Yeah. I mean, you know, the so Steeler a lot corridor. of Steeler fans come down here. A lot of Cowboy fans. You've got a little section over here for the Eagles. You yeah, know. we got plenty. We got plenty for everybody. Just yeah. Come Bill, on uh, what about the Buffalo Bills? Buffalo Bills, we're still working on that for some reason. <laughs> for the last 10 years since I showed up here. We I was going to say, you, to... you've, been asking, you've been asking for Buffalo Bills stuff, but most teams, that, you know, you got your you got to have something. Yeah. yeah At I, least I'm, one thing. Yeah, I'm looking. I don't see it, Greg. I, mean, right, I, I got Dolphins. I got Raiders. I got Niners. Ravens. Niners. Washington. I, I, the Patriots. I guess, yeah, Patriots, I mean, oh, every, yeah, Broncos. Did they win something? One, or did they win the Super Who? Bowl? The Patriots before? Oh, Have yeah, they ever won? Yeah, a, couple, <laughs> a couple of them. <laughs> We're not going to be sure they're not going to win this year because the Steelers going to knock them out, right? Yeah, one of my guys bought a Jeep, and he's a Steeler guy, and it's a Patriot Jeep. He oh, set it on Patriot. fire, and collected the insurance money because he couldn't. <laughs> he didn't realize what he bought. <laughs> yeah. and on that That's note, it's one. time to leave JD Collectible. If you're looking for it, guys. Come and see me. Yeah, yeah Crazy come and see Jack's Jack. got it down here, and I don't care. It's the unique things that I like. You can come in here, you can't find anywhere else. So, you know, watches, keychains, sunglasses, you name it, it's here. Folks, when you're talking about the Newcastle Farmers Market, you can see going up that away forever, back behind us forever, because we're standing probably about the midway point of one aisle. And you got another aisle on the other side, and then you got all these other ones back and forth in between. So it's you want a me to day's, eat something hot. Oh, it's a day's adventure. Now here's where I get Greg. Okay, all right, uh, this is where I get Greg. We're gonna do this real quick because I just happen yeah, to see this. Out of time. This is the. So hot I don't pickles. think we have enough time. Oh uh, yeah, we got enough time. I want the hottest thing you got. Can we have the a hot hottest pickle? thing you got? Because this young lady, they make pickles. I mean. Uh, it doesn't get any. Uh, she pointed to he that He needs one. a little, a little bite of that. She's looking yeah, nervous yeah. for me. What, what's, what's the specialty today? Uh, hot, pickle. hot pickle. <laughs> Tim's gonna make me eat a hot pickle. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to. He's making me. I've done some things that he doesn't. Well, he, he, he needs you, to get back at me. You see me covered with all this powdered sugar and everything. So I want Greg to eat a pickle. While she looked at it and was kind of like, "What's wrong with that?" Guy? What do you call these? Hot pickle. Hot pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, I have the answer to this question. Hot, hot, I've been hot here a long pickle. Because I've seen Greg's face now. I'm going to love this. So I'm, a, I'm just going to watch her catch him a little slice. I really slice. Don't do this. Yeah, a little one, yeah. <laughs> she she but, just said, are you sure you're going to do it? Yeah, that are you me, sure you're going to do it? That makes me twice as nervous. <laughs> are you sure you're going to do it? Well, people buy these need them, right? Yeah, there's people that love them. I mean, Greg yeah, likes the hot crazy stuff. Crazy people. So let's, let's see. It's not hot at all. Yeah, I want to watch his face as we, as I remind you, Newcastle Farmers <laughs> Market. <laughs> Is it located, Greg? <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> you, the good thing you got a suntan because you are so red, right? <laughs> I think I'm I'm gonna, <laughs> you do the hot stuff, I'll take the powdered sugar and everything. But this is Newcastle Farmers Market located She's on gonna Route cool me down 13. with a mild pickle. No, this is a cucumber. <laughs> oh my gosh. Give him another one in the hot one. <laughs> mm. Really good. They got great my stuff. I mean, I, you know, if you're looking for specialty folks, it, Thank as you. far as, Be you know, Pickled eggs, you know, it, it's all here for you. Sure, you don't want to try one of those hot pickles? Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I know that. I, I, I like just We're even. plain deal, a little even. bit of spice on it, you know. But, but she does it. Because I'm going to be right. If you're looking for that, there's people out there that love this, Greg. They, they oh, just yeah. love that. Pickle lady, hot, come yeah. see the pickle lady. Yeah, the pickle lady. There you go. She doesn't have a name. What do they call those hot pickles? <laughs> pickle lady. 
Pickle lady. She's well, not exaggerating. Here's wood barrel pickles, you know. So, you know, so the different different styles. If, so if you're a pickle guy mm -hmm. or yeah. girl, you definitely want to check it out. We got our pizza being ready for right, us, so we're going to go over there. Thank you so much Thanks, for me. giving I that. think. Ooh, it's hot, ain't it? It's hot. <laughs> getting down back down here. Mama Gina's getting our slices of pizza. Greg couldn't wait to put one in his mouth to try to get that hot. Sorry. And that, that is a hot pickle you had, my friend. I'm telling you. What do you eat? This is cooling me down. This is a oh, this is awesome. This is um, buffalo chicken. Oh, okay. So yeah. like you know, cheese, chicken, and hot sauce. It's awesome. Nice yeah. and crispy. I One of my favorites. They just started doing it. Not I tell too long you, ago. It's been a, they, it's been got, a big hit. They've got so much here versus just pizzas from Bowley. I mean, but when it comes Tomato to pizza, pie. when it comes to pizza, I keep telling you, it's the best. You got to come by and try this because it's it really, truly the best pizza I know of in town. Mm -hmm. And it only can be available to you on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the nice thing about it is, you notice all the boxes piled up. You got people that call in on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, oh, yeah. order the pizza, come in door number two here at the Newcastle Pick Farmers it up Park, and go. pick it right up and take it with them. So, you you know, it's easier. Football season's coming up. Easy oh, way big, to get a big, couple pies. Big time. These guys stay busy, and they'll make it any which yeah, way good. that you want it. And uh, that's the buffalo chicken. I'll have to try that. I like my plain old pepperoni, but whew, I'll let that cool I, down. I, I, I like the plain pepperoni, too, but I'll, I'll switch back and forth. But, yeah, man, there's so many different kinds of pizzas. Yeah. The vegetable kind, the ricotta, vegetable, the broccoli. The thing that's nice about it is the ingredients is very important. It's got to be fresh. It tastes as good as it does. And it's all available They come in and make the sauce fresh every week. But it's all available for them right here at the Newcastle Farmers Park. That's the amazing thing when you're talking about it. You got produce stands on both sides yeah, of the park. Yeah, they buy produce stands. Yeah, and fresh produce, tomatoes, I mean, whatever they want to put on them, they can get it right there, the peppers and all. You can't get any fresh than what they get, mm -hmm. you know, and put on these pizzas. You know, it's right, right here. It's there for you available. You have thousands of people, you know, they come to the Newcastle Farmers Market each and every week. I mean, right. you know, tens of thousands, I should say. Yeah. A lot of them hit these produce stands on both ends of the market and get They're their fresh drop. Pro pro produce uh, out, we out there. We got the week, sure. Yeah, but there's so much. Uh, we got to do our market stage because there's a lot of things coming in August. Yeah. What do we got? Well, free flu shots are coming up this season. You know, Tim, we do that every year. You get a free flu shot out here. And then we have uh, special events. We do face painting and a magic show once a month. August 19th. 12 o'clock till 3, face painting magic show. Great for the kids, all free, come on out, and uh, you'll love it. Magic Bobby does a great job. It's a family atmosphere when you come out here. You got entertainment that goes on that stage on a regular basis. You got different people showcasing things on a regular basis. Always something going on here at Newcastle Farmers Market. You find more information by going to the website, right? Yeah, newcastlefarmersmarket.com. It's got all our contact information, all our uh, store listings, so you can kind of see all the things we didn't talk about. Uh, but if you haven't been out here, you know, make a trip, come out. If you're living for, for further away, you know, plan a plan a couple hours, do the flea market, come inside, get something to eat. We got about 12 restaurants. And my kids love it. We come out here. They, they all oh, yeah, I have my to kids say, love it too. Yeah, all they, I have to say, it. Newcastle Farm. I don't know what they got here, but they, yeah, I say yeah, Newcastle yeah, Farmers Market. Man, they're ready to go. Yeah, you it's know. fun. They, the kids they, love they it. Like it's family atmosphere. It's a lot it's all going here on. for you. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday. 9 to 9, Sunday 10 to 6. And remember the Pennsylvania Dutch section only open on Friday, Friday and Saturday. Saturday. You ought to definitely check it out. Check out the website. Once again, that is what very NewcastleFarmersMarket.com. And we will see you at the market.